Well, hey, friends, this is Jennifer, and this is The Jennifer Allwood Show, the podcast for women who want to find freedom in both their life and in their business. I own a multi seven figure a year coaching business. I'm also a certified life coach. So I have the honor of helping thousands of women every single month make money in the online space and help them to get unstuck from whatever is holding them back, all without sacrificing their faith or their family. In this show, you're going to get the very best life and business advice, always with a healthy dose of Jesus. So buckle in, my friend. I'm so excited that you are here. Well, hey, everyone. This is Jennifer. This is the Jennifer Allwood Show. And I have a fun podcast for you today because there's breaking news, friends. Breaking news. Okay. Last week, um, Mark Zuckerberg announced that Instagram was going to be launching a service called Meta Verification um, that will allow for you to get your account blue check verified. And this is on both Facebook and Instagram. And, um, and I thought to myself, self, let's post something about this on my social media and let's see what people think. And I was really surprised that people were like, heck no, we won't go. And I was like, wow. Okay. Okay. And so I wanted to do a podcast today about the topic of whether or not you should pay if you are a business for meta verification. <laughs> we can also just call that the little blue check. I want to talk about kind of what is it, what it's going to include so that you can all make a really good decision. Why it would be good for you. What are some of the concerns? What do we still not know? And then just some other, um, you know, mindset types of things that I want to chat about. Okay. So, and with that being said, let me just also acknowledge that I don't know all the things. We just know what information we have been given, right? Um, so we've seen Mark Zuckerberg make an announcement, um, that Mossery person, um, gosh, I can never say his name right. Why can't, why does my lips just not work? You guys, is it Mossery, 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 uh, the CEO of Instagram. And, um, so he has done, you know, an Instagram video talking about it. And so we really only know the information that they've given us. And this is only being rolled out by the way, to, um, New Zealand and Australia right now. So it's not even available in the United States. So just, just, you know, slow your roll, but here's what we know. Okay. What we know is that Meta has said that they are going to now be offering, um, basically a subscription, which means it's going to be a monthly fee for you to get your account verified. Now, if you followed me for any length of time, you know that my Facebook page is verified. I have 350,000 followers there, has a blue check behind it. I got verified, I would say eight or nine years ago of no doing of my own. Literally woke up one day, blue check behind my name. Hallelujah all the things. Okay. Now that's compared to Instagram where I have 105,000 followers on Instagram and have applied for verification, probably no less than 10 or 15 times in the last several years. And have never been able to get a blue check. Um, the blue check simply usually indicates to people that are looking at your social media that this is like a legit person. This is a legit business. This person has reached a particular level, not that it is quantifiable, but just it's like um, it's verifying that you're a legit person, all of the things. So I have always wanted to be verified on social media. In fact, I did a funny podcast. Hang on. I'm going to find this. Okay. Um, Jennifer Allwood podcast. This is me Googling myself. By the way, don't ever Google yourself. Jennifer Allwood podcast. Um, let's see when I got scammed for verification. Do you guys get those things that show up? Um, okay. Is it worth to pay somebody to get verified? Okay. This is hilarious. Um, do you guys get those things that come in your DMs and they're like, Hey, we want to verify you for $3. Okay. And they'll, they'll say a little bit more than that. But anyway, I decided to take somebody named Martin up on that one day. I'm like, you know what? I'm tired of, of just getting all these messages. Let's just try this and see what happens. So let me see if I can find my own podcast number. Um, uh, come on, man. Oh, I can't see which, I can't see which one it is. Okay. But here, here's the deal. We paid a guy named Martin, um, $200 to verify me. Of course it didn't happen. We paid Martin another $200. Of course it didn't happen. And so then I did a whole podcast about how like, don't, don't do what I did. A part of what I did, I knew that I would be probably scammed for, but in my head, it was good just to almost test. Um, I know somebody who personally paid $5,000, to get a blue check behind her name on Instagram. I know another person who paid $11,000 to get verified on Instagram. Now, before I even get into like, should you do this? Let me just say this. The reason 
that you would want to be verified on Instagram without any, you know, doing of your own. Like the reason I wish that Instagram had just already verified me is number one, I have issues all the time, you guys, of these spam accounts popping up. They steal your pictures, they steal your name, but they always alter your name just slightly. So it's like Jennifer Allwood with two R's on Jennifer. The latest one is Jennifer Allwood with two D's on Wood. Um, they steal pictures, especially of my children. It's gross. And they start a brand new account and they'll go through my followers and they'll start following you. And then they'll start sending you DMs, pitching you on things like Bitcoin and things that I know nothing about. So it feels really gross to those of us who actually have a legit um, following. We've got a legit business. I'm verified on another account. I've been trying to get verified on Instagram. I've gone through all the things that Instagram says makes you verifiable. You have to have so many articles written about you that are out into, you know, the world. Well, listen, I've got two Forbes articles. I've got a book. I've got, you know, Zondervan's wrote articles. I've got article upon article. So it's not that. It's not based on a certain number of followers. And so it's just, it's frustrating um, because it doesn't seem like there's any consistency. And also there's really no way to get verified. And also there's no way to talk to somebody at Instagram about it. So, um, so I tested the $200 Martin and it was completely scammed. Okay. Now that I've said this, let's talk about what we do know. Okay. So here's what we do know. We do know that they're going to roll this out to Australia and roll it out to New Zealand first. Then it will be being rolled out to other countries. I, we don't know how quickly. Um, I know that they have said in a video they're hoping to do it very fast. If you would like to be verified, it's going to cost you $11.99 on desktop and $14.99 on mobile. Now, I'm trying to figure out how, like, I don't even know what that means, okay? Because the difference is likely because of the fee from Apple on subscription inside of the apps. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's weird to me. So that, that I think is something that they're going to have to figure out. Here's what they're saying will happen though. That if you become verified, so you get a blue check behind your business name, behind your personal name as a business on Instagram, that you're going to have more protection from impersonation. They're saying you're going to have more access to customer service with a real person. I mean, how many of you wouldn't love that? I would. They are saying increased visibility and reach. Okay, I got to tell you, when I read that, my butt puckered a little. Not going to lie. My butt puckered just a little. Because I'm like, okay, they have every single right to hold this carrot out in front of us. For those of us who have been trying, you know, to get the reach that we used to have five years ago. Um, But man, that stings a little. Like, you know, now you're going to have to pay in order to reach people. And by the way, they have every right to do this. Um, they're saying that you will have exclusive features, although they have not said what those are. And so that's what they have said will be included. Okay. So let me talk about some of the reasons why this would be good to have. All right. This would be good to have for those of you who are trying really hard to establish your business and you two have had a hard time getting verified or for people to really look at your account and see a low follower count. And so this will be helpful to you. And honestly, will. this will hopefully be helpful to cut down on the number of spam accounts. And by the way, when you see somebody, if somebody DMs you pretending to be me, it's not that I got hacked. That's what people always say. Jennifer, I think you've been hacked. No, if I got hacked, they would get into my Jennifer Allwood or my Jennifer Allwood home account. They would probably take down a bunch of the content that I have there, put up a bunch of new content, um, and it would probably be gross, and they would probably hold things hostage. Like, that's what getting hacked means. These are just spam accounts where they're just basically copycats, okay? So a blue check would make you look more legitimate. And it would give you hopefully access to more features is what they said, even though we don't actually know what those are. But then the biggest thing I think is getting access to some help and some customer service. You know, I was talking to one of the women in my mastermind this morning, um, Tara Wells, who has discovered the fields, um, is her social media following. And Tara's Facebook came up missing a couple of months ago. And she was in agreement with me today on our mastermind call. Like she said, what I wouldn't have done to have access just to get on the phone to somebody in customer service. But right now you have a much better chance of accessing somebody at Facebook than what you do Instagram. There's no way to get a hold of anybody at Instagram. So if your Instagram gets taken over, if your Instagram gets, um, you know, taken down for some reason, the chances of you getting it back are slim to none. There's slim to none. So if they're saying that they can help with all of that, that would be good. Now, why, what would be the downside to getting verified? Well, if everybody's verified, then is no one verified? I was thinking of the movie, um, 
uh, the Incredibles. <laughs> Are we celebrating meteor- meteorocracy? Uh, remember how he's talking about like, if we're all winners, then nobody's a winner. And, um, and so, and so I don't mean it like that, but I'm just saying if, if you can now pay to have your account verified, then does it almost kind of devalue the platforms of the people that already are? Because now you're just going to be able to pay for it. And so it no longer will make the people who are already verified look more legit than those of us that are not. Does that make sense? Um, another thing that I think is possibly problematic is what does like the whole more reach thing mean? Um, will you need to pay to keep your reach and engagement? Like, I don't know. I think there's just like a whole lot of unknowns. Um, if they can't protect us from being, you know, uh, spam accounts, if they can't protect us from things like that, then, then, uh, you know, it's just, it's going to be problematic. All right. I think there's still like a lot of red flags, not red flags necessarily, but just think they're going to have to work out. I think one of the reasons it's bad is because you can go to my Facebook or my Instagram and see the posts that I put on there last week. And you can see that some people are losing their ever loving mind. And so for people that are already annoyed with Facebook and Instagram, this could just be one more like nail in the coffin. I was super surprised to read some of the comments. Like this person says so much for Zuck's promise that Facebook would always be free to which I said, well, it's still free. It's been free since the day you started, unless you want to run ads, you know, and, and that thinking, by the way, I think is completely backwards. I was asking the ladies in my mastermind this morning, Hey, how many of you here have been running a business before social media was a thing? And there was just a handful of us. And we agreed social media is the best thing that has ever happened to business because back in the day, I was having to call phone numbers out of the yellow pages. I was having to show up at people's doorsteps. I was having to send out mailers. I was having to, um, you know, take out ads in newspapers and magazines. Social media has changed everything. A girl named Bree said, it seems a little unfair to those of you who have worked so hard to get the blue check before they just now let you buy it. And I said, I agree with that. One of the other concerns is that you will have to, oh, I should have said this right at the beginning. You do have to um, to provide a government ID. So your um, driver's license, I'm not sure if a passport is going to be considered a government ID. I believe it is. But it, you you will have to submit one of those. And people are a little concerned about that. To which I have said, hey, I'm pretty sure that if you're going to run Facebook ads, they already have your ID. Now we've been running Facebook ads for 10 years, 15 years. And so, um, so, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if maybe they've changed on that, but to my knowledge, people always had to put in a government ID and I even Googled it right before we came on here. It still says, um, that there are ways that you can like confirm your identity with Facebook if you don't want to upload your ID, but if you're going to be running ads, they confirm your identification. So to my knowledge, that's still a thing. There are people that are concerned about that and, you know, rightfully so. Um, but I just, I thought it was super interesting you know, some of the pushback from people who are like, I won't pay him a dime for anything. And I really do think that there's just a little bit of um, a poverty mentality that we'll talk about in just a little bit uh, with that. Okay. So why it's bad. Well, if everybody's verified, then there's no one verified, you know, they still have some things to work out in terms of like reach and things. And I do think that this is for a lot of people, they're not happy about this. They're not. I did say to the ladies in my mastermind this morning, I was so proud of them because I didn't see even one of them have any complaints about it. Every one of them is a business owner. So they all understand the business side of this decision. You know, Facebook, Meta, Instagram, whatever you want to call them, they, they are a business and they're allowed to make money and they're allowed to make a whole lot of money. And quite frankly, they don't owe us anything. <laughs> and people are saying they should just be doing this for free. They should just be giving us customer service for free. They should just be, you know, protecting us from impersonation for free. Well, that would be fabulous in a real world. But can you imagine probably just um, how difficult all of that is to probably manage for that company? And all of and it for for all of that, it takes dollars, right, to have people in seats to do that. One of the girls on my team, she said, well, gas companies, they make a whole lot of money, but we don't demand free gas. And I was like, that's, that's, that's really good, actually. That's really good. So, you know, I think that we need to be careful. 
of speaking death over social media, because quite frankly, that's what a lot of people are doing. It's interesting to me that people are like, I want to grow my social media, Jen. That's why they come into my inner circle, right? But then they also gripe about what the platforms do. And I'm like, listen, you're, the Bible says you're not supposed to curse and bless out of your same mouth. Like speak life over what you want to see happen on your social media. I have been praying literally for two years that I would get verified on Instagram. I told somebody recently, this is the year I'm getting, I'm getting verified on Instagram. I just didn't know it's because they were going to just allow you to buy it. Can I also just remind you that these are business expenses, okay? Because there were so many people that are like, absolutely. Let me, let me read this to you from Christy. No way, famous or not. No way Zuck gets a penny from me or anyone in my family. And I'm like, all righty then. Well, do you also make sure that you know who's running Starbucks and everything that they stand for? Do you also make sure that you, when it comes to Target, that you make sure you know who's making all the decisions there, et cetera, et cetera. And so it's just, it's interesting to me. I think it's a broke mindset. In so many instances, guys, I do. Because I want you, if you're one of those people right now that's griping about it, stop. First of all, you can keep using it for free all you want. Here's what it's saying. You can keep doing it for free, or now we have this option that's going to give you a little more proximity to customer service and hopefully a little more visibility and reach. That to me is a win-win situation. That to me is a win-win. And if it's 15 bucks a month, it's 15 bucks a month. 15 bucks a month is nothing to pay if somebody does hack your Instagram or somebody does, you know, impersonate you, whatever, to be able to get on the horn with a real person or in contact with a person who can take care of it. It's nothing, you guys. It's nothing. It's so fascinating to me that so many people are so upset about having to pay for it. And I'm like, it's a business expense and there is a cost to doing business. I remember one time my business coach said, years ago, I can remember her saying, um, you know, nobody wants to talk about the fact that there should be costs of doing business, you know, but when you have a nine to five job, you pay for the gas to go in your car to drive to that job. You pay for the then pantyhose that you wear at that job. You pay for the clothes that you have to have at that job. You pay when you all go out to eat at lunch um, as a team together. You, you pay for all of that. And so there's costs of having a quote unquote real job also, but people get into uh, being an entrepreneur and they think they are going to have, it's all going to be for free. And I'm like, that is such a broke mindset. Come on now until you and I are smart enough to come up with our own social media platform that supersedes meta that goes further places. Like we, we have to be willing to be like, you know what? It is a business. Facebook stock was wonky a couple weeks ago. They're going to make money. And I literally teach people, you know, that one of the best ways to make money is by charging a monthly fee. I've had my monthly group, which is at $47 or $67, depending on when you've gotten in there, fee for almost eight years. Stop griping and complaining and business up. Like real business owners, they look one step higher. They don't have that tiny thinking and gripe about what's happening on social media and then expect their social media to grow. It does not work like that. It does not work like that. So if you are somebody who's hopeful that your business is going to grow and you're going to make a lot of money, you can't be cursed on other businesses that do. If you're like, I really need to grow my audience, then be careful what you're saying about the platform that can help you. If you want your audience to adjust whenever you make a pivot or a shift, if you want your audience to be like, okay, Susie just changed what she's doing. Jennifer just decided to stop something, whatever. Then you need to be that same kind of customer. You need to have that same sort of flexibility as a customer that you hope your customers are going to have, right? And so let this just be an encouragement for you today. Whether or not you decide you want to get verified, like I don't care. But I just want you to think about it from a higher perspective. I want you to think about it in a different way. Kelly Ruth says, wow, $15, $15 a month can make him more rich and personate away. And that made me giggle. But <laughs> I'm like, he has the right to make a lot of money. 
He really does just like you do. And just like I do. And so I hope that this was helpful for someone today. I hope that you had to, or not had to, but I hope you had the opportunity to learn something. Um, I hope that it gave you something different to think about. And for some of you, it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, for some of you, it doesn't make any sense, but some of you are like me and you're like, absolutely. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Did I get verified on Twitter? I did not. Cause I don't care, but will I get verified on Instagram? Absolutely. So, all right, friends. And by the way, I do wonder, will Pinterest be next? Will TikTok be next? I don't know. Will, will all of them be charging at some point? And it looks like what it's going to be is like, it's still going to be free um, for like the basic model. But if you want like the souped up social media, then you're going to probably have to start paying for it. So I'm personally here for it. Um, and, uh, so we'll, we'll kind of see what happens and when they roll this out and all the things, but hopefully this gave you something to think about today. If it did share with somebody else that, you know, who's in business right now, I would love for this just to go further than just my traditional audience. If you are somebody who posts things on, uh, Instagram stories, do a screenshot of this with a link, if you would, so that your audience can go listen to it also. But I encourage you just to think higher when you're thinking about whether or not to become verified. And make sure you're making just the very best decision for yourself and for your business. Bless you, my friends. I'm rooting for you. All right. Bye-bye. Friend, thank you so much for listening to the podcast again this week. I'm so honored that you come back for every episode and that you share the Jennifer Allwood Show with your friends and family. Every time I see you guys post about it on Instagram or Facebook or something, it just makes me do a little happy. So thank you. Make sure that you subscribe to the podcast if you never want to miss an episode. So you can go to... Apple Podcasts or Stitcher or Spotify or any of the other podcasting places and subscribe each week so that every week you get the new episode when it releases. So just know that I love bringing you relevant content. I love bringing you great guests. And one of the ways you can help us here at Team Allwood is by leaving the podcast a review. So if you have just a second to do that, would you go over and leave a review for the Jennifer Allwood Show? Thank you again. You're amazing. I'm honored to be here. Until next week. Bye-bye.